Hey guys, quick check in. Um, it is Tuesday, 22nd of August, right now, 7 20 pm. Um, I just did this look on Courtney's live, um, so I followed along. I did have a wig on. Um, I'm about to go wash it off. Uh, obviously, I can't get contacts in, so I can't do that part. Um, but this is how it came out. Now, I didn't have the same paint as she does because um, it was launch night for that paint so I had to make my own so mine looks a bit different but for the first attempt at doing a like siren slash mermaid came out pretty good um but yeah I need to get this paint off um and cook dinner so I thought I'd show you guys before I did that anyways bye guys hey guys so it's still same day just um doing my skin and um finishing cleaning myself up from um, doing that look with Courtney on her live. It was her launch day for her new palette. Um, this is a limited edition palette, so once they're gone, they're potentially gone for good. Um, I thought I would do a check-in because I actually deleted yesterday's check-in um, because it was, it was too long, for one. Um, it was just a bit rambly, so I thought I would um, jump in and do a different check-in uh, whilst I'm doing my skincare. Um, I just used some LMS facial pad wipes. Um, so basically, the reason why I've been MIA so much is um, my bottom wisdom tube down here is coming out. It really, really, really hurts. Um, it's not so bad today. Uh, but yesterday it was really swollen um, and I couldn't talk properly and I ha I've got like a sore on this uh, like on the inside of my cheek like an ulcer or something um, from it rubbing because yeah I don't have enough room so I've got like a flap of gum in the end it's like going over top of my wet trees right now um, I've had this one removed I think it was about 18 months ago maybe two years ago I think I've loved about it back then um, so I've known that I need to get the other three removed, however, I've been putting it off because I wanted to get my endo stuff sorted first. However, I've now realised that that was the wrong idea, um, because last week I had x-rays on my mouth to look at getting them done. Um, seeing as I've got private health cover, we're looking at me actually going into hospital and having them done, um, like removed all at once because I'm petrified of the dentist. <laughs> Um, so I had my x-rays done last week and on Friday I had an appointment after Morgan's dentist appointment with the dentist where he went over my x-rays and my true bottom wisdom teeth, this one's highly decayed, this one's infected currently, although this is the one that's sore, this one's not like really sore compared to this one. Um, top one I think is just like it's not severely decayed, it's not infected, but yeah. The two bottom ones, the roots have grown into the nerve chambers. So by leaving it, I could end up paralyzed if it went in and hit the nerves. Um, but also I can't have it out in the chair now. Um, I have to go see a specialist because apparently I could end up paralyzed like here um, if it is not removed like properly. Um, so yeah, I've been um, sent off to a specialist um, who deals with like nerves and oral surgery. Um, so hopefully, I haven't been able to get in very quickly. Um, I can't see them. This is my Ole Henrik Sen strength peptide boost trainer thingy. Um, I can't get in until September, so I'm hoping it'll be okay until then. Um, I have booked another appointment this Friday because I'm in a lot of pain on this side. So I want to see what I can do until I can see the surgeon. Um, but apparently I'll need to get it done quite quickly because the longer it's left, the more risky it's going to be. Um, and it keeps 
obviously moving around it's coming up and down constantly because I don't have room in my mouth for it. Um, so that's been a bit stressful because it kind of scared me when they said that I could end up like paralyzed. Um, like here, I'm like, what? I didn't know that was like a thing. So um, yeah, a bit scared about that. Um, I, other than that, yeah, I've just been in a lot of pain. So that's pretty much it. Um, the mother-in-law and I did go to Kmart yesterday. We're gonna try. We were trying to do my reading nook area. We also set up the walk-in robe. Like finished unpacking all my clothes. I decluttered two big bags. Everything is now unpacked in my robe. So I think I filmed a little clip. If not, I'll add it in now. Um, but we brought a bookshelf. Morgan went to put it together, and it just like broke. Like we were basically just staring at it and the wood is like separating so i've got to take that back and i think i'll go to ikea on thursday with the mother-in-law and get a different one instead um but other than that i think that's about it so tomorrow i'm going swimming with my friend um it will be my first time back so um yeah, I'm a bit nervous about that. I can't do the full amount. I'm only allowed to do walking and probably about 30 minutes. Um, so yeah, a bit nervous about that. But other than that, I've got the vet coming tomorrow as well for an appointment. He called me today to say that he needs to speak to me about Macy's results. So I'm a bit nervous about that too. So yeah, it's just been quite stressful. Um, this is ending up really long again. So I'm going to end it off here and chat to you guys later. Bye guys. Hey guys, quick check in because I haven't done one in the last few days. Um, it is currently 24th of August, it's 8 52 a.m. in the morning, um, and I have just finished at the pools with my friend. Um, today was our second day swimming. Um, we're just doing walking laps like my pelvic physio told me to do, and we're stopping at half an hour. And then we've been spending about 20 minutes in the spa as well before leaving. That's why I'm all red. Um, today I am going to Ikea to try and get a bookshelf bookcase thingy for my reading nook so hopefully um, I'll get that and I'll be able to show you guys. Also gonna have lunch with my grandma because um, she lives closest to Ikea so um, yeah that'll be good. There is like an old lady watching me right now <laughs> talking that's a bit awkward. Um, so yeah um, thought I'd just update you on that. Um, the vet yesterday went really well. Macy's bloods are completely back to normal, so I got worried over nothing. Um, the other dog's eyes are starting to get a little bit better, but we still need to continue with the meds for at least another 10 days. Um, what else? The vet did have a look around my yard as well, and it's, he said either the bottle brush or there's some like thistle weeds, um, which we've sprayed and they're all dead now. Um, but he said maybe before we sprayed, that could have been setting them off. Um, so yeah, we're hoping to work on the yard this weekend. Um, this little old lady still is staring at me. Um, yeah, so yeah. I also just ran into my pelvic physio leaving the pools. Um, she was going in to swim and we had just finished. So that was um, cool to see her. But yeah, I'm going to head home now and have a quick shower and get dressed and then head off to Ikea with the mother-in-law and meet my grandma. So I'll chat to you guys later. Bye guys.
Me? Obsessed with you? Yes. Yes, I am. A bit. Only on them seas if it's breeze. Red will be the sleeves. Chinese on my sleeve. These wanna be Chinese. Anyway, we out. Who the fuck told bitches they was me now? Hey guys, a quick check in. It is Sunday, 27th of August right now. It's um, almost 1 p.m. Um, we're just at the tool shop. Morgan's grabbing some tools he needs for a work um, because his job site has been um, rubbed twice now. Um, he ties up or chains up all of his like big stuff, but um, the small things he um, hasn't been, uh, which 99% of the time they don't with the small things, but unfortunately small things have been taken twice now So it's having to pack it up each time he leaves the job site now. So we're just replacing some of the things that were taken um, So yeah, I thought I'd do a quick check in whilst he was in there grabbing the things um, So I don't think I've spoken to you guys since like Thursday or something. I think it was um, Friday I did you on Friday? Oh, Friday we had a bit of a sleep in and um, we went to the dentist, uh, one for Morgan and then one to check on all my wisdom tooth um, pain and stuff. Um, it's getting better so um, I didn't need to have any antibiotics or anything like that, thankfully. Um, and then we also had my grandparents over for lunch as well um, because they had a funeral to go to. So um, yeah, they dropped in and said hello for an hour. Yesterday we did the gardening. Um, we'll just got back in the car. <laughs> um, yesterday we did the gardening. So I chopped down a bunch of stuff out the front and chopped down all of the big trees in the backyard now. Um, I did film a clip so you might have already seen that part. It looks so good now, doesn't it? It looks so open now. The backyard looks like double the size it was before because the bush tree thing was just like overtaking half the yard. The bottle brush? Yeah, the bottle brush. And then there was another one that was like underneath it. We don't know what kind of tree that was. Um, but it was breaking the retaining wall and the fence as well. So they had to go, otherwise they were gonna cause damage. Um, but also with the dog's allergies, um, the vet said either the bottle brush or some thistle weed um, is what's causing it. So we needed to get rid of everything. Um, we also did two dump runs yesterday and went to Bunnings and the garden centre. So yeah, we did lots yesterday. So that's where I was yesterday. Today we're just out and about doing a few things and we may potentially look at the retick when we get back. Um, we're not doing the lawn this weekend, that's going to be planned for another weekend. So this is sort of just prepping everything for the moment, ripping everything out and prepping. <laughs> so yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Bye guys. Yeah. <laughs>